So attachment animal studies in attachment and the two animal studies that you need to be aware about is Lorenz and Harlow. So Lorenz wanted to find out whether baby geese would imprint on the first moving thing that they would see or whether they were would form an attachment to the mother. So Lorenz randomly divided um, 12 goose eggs, so grey lag geese, into two. He put half of them with the mother goose in their natural environment and the other half he kept in the incubator and when they hatched the first thing that they would see would be Lorenz himself. He then mixed up the goslings to see who they would follow and who they had imprinted on. So it was found that the incubator group would follow Lorenz around because they had imprinted on him and the control group, the go uh, geese that had um, hatched with the mother would follow the mother around. Um, it also found that there was a critical period in which imprinting had to happen and that was between the uh, 13 to 16 hours after hatching. If it didn't happen at that point, um, it would be unlikely to happen at all. Uh, conclusions were that imprinting happens during that critical period and it is a fast, automatic and innate process. And as I said, if they didn't imprint during that time, they did not attach themselves to a mother figure. So some evaluation points. Um, it was found that imprinting did impact on later life. So when chicks had imprinted on yellow washing up gloves, they later tried to mate with them as adults, supporting the idea that we are born or chicks are born with an innate mechanism to imprint on the first thing they see. However, the researcher also found that with experience, um, they learn not to mate with the, the rubber gloves, but with their own species. So it suggests that imprinting isn't as long lasting as Lorenz believes. So he may have overemphasized the importance and um, the effects of imprinting after hatching. Harlow. So Harlow wants to find out whether baby monkeys would prefer a source of food or a source of comfort and protection. So it was a lab experiment and he had Reese's monkeys that he raised in isolation from away from their biological mother and instead they had two surrogate mothers. Um, one was made of a wire mesh that contained, contained a feeding bottle and the other was made from a cloth. So it had a wire mesh but it was covered in a cloth and it would provide a source of comfort but no food. Um, it was found that the monkey spent most of their time, about 18 hours of the day, clinging to the cloth mother and they only went to the wire mother when they had to feed. Um, the cloth mother also gave them comfort in new situations. So when he took it further and introduced a mechanical uh, creature robot to scare the mother um, monkey, it would rush to the cloth mother um, for a source of comfort. Also, when it was um, introduced to a new room with toys, if they had the cloth mother there, it would provide a source of comfort and eventually the monkey would feel um, safe enough to explore the room. If it was with the wire monkey mother or left alone, it's lo alone it would, wouldn't explore the room at all. Um, it was also found that females um, when they had offspring of their own were violent towards those offspring. So it appeared that um, it had a long lasting effect on um, their future attachment, in particular with their own offspring. So the conclusions drawn were that infant monkeys formed more of attachment to the figure that provided comfort and protection over food and that growing up in isolation affects later development. So supported by Schaefer and Emerson's finding as infants didn't necessarily attach with the person who fed them, they attached to the person that responded to their needs with the greatest sensitivity. It also has practical applications so it's helped support workers to understand risk factors in child abuse so therefore they can intervene with these cases. But there are ethical issues, so Harlow was aware that he was causing suffering and distress to the monkeys. So, does the ends outweigh 
the means. So does his research into the idea that actually comfort is so much more important than just feeding, does does the results outweigh the cost of the distress that it caused to the Reese's monkeys? General AO3 then on animal studies as a whole. So it's hard to generalise the findings from animals to humans as we are biologically different. So uh, Lorenz used uh, species that can open their eyes and walk from birth. However, humans are very different and cannot walk until much later. So are geese and monkeys biologically similar enough to humans in order to be able to generalise and apply the findings from animal studies to humans? Are we able to extrapolate those findings or is attachment a more complex phenomena in humans than animals? Also, again, ethical issues because animals are not able to give consent during to take part in this research. So um, should we be using them to study? So in terms of some um, questions that you might be asked, we had researcher A found that young animals seem to attach to comfort rather than food. Researcher B found that mobile newborn animals would follow a large moving object that they saw. Give the name of researcher A and the type of animals they studied. So that is Harlow and he studied monkeys, Reese's monkeys if you want to be particular. And then B is Lorenz and he studied uh, geese. Um, outline the procedure used in one animal study of attachment. So four marks, so the procedure, so do not give me any information about the, the findings, the conclusion, this is purely how the research was done. Briefly discuss one limitation of using animals to study attachment in humans, so the fact that we can't generalise um, the findings to humans, and outline and evaluate two animal studies in attachment. So this is being a bit more specific and saying two animal studies, you could get um, describe and evaluate animal studies in attachment where you'd have to talk about both because it says studies important to look for whether there's plural in the question or not so your AO1 on Lorenz an evaluation of Lorenz AO1 of Harlow and um, evaluation of Harlow